Hey everybody, this is Video Bob. I'm trying something new. This is going to be sort of a three-in-one kind of video that's going to satisfy kind of all of my fans. So if you came here uh, just for a review of the Rebel 3-in-1 Combi Wave, or if you came here for the how to make the perfect uh, Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich, just go down into the description if you're on your computer or your phone, and they will be links there that will teleport you directly to that part of the video. And there is also a link in the description to buy the microwave. So let's get started. If you came here because you're a fan of the tour bus channel that we have, uh, we're going to be talking about microwaves inside your RV and tour bus. You know, this is a 1990 Prevo XL uh, built by Angola, which means this microwave in here is actually from 1989. Now, it's actually a pretty decent unit. This is a Sharp Carousel 2. Uh, it is a convection oven. It's all stainless steel inside. Ugh, it's kind of dirty. <clears throat> but it's, a, it's actually a really good microwave. It's also an oven, as I said. It's, it, it's a broiler. And I've actually used this thing. I mean, I've cooked steaks in here. We've, uh, matter of fact, so what happened to it? We were using it Thanksgiving. We were using the bus to, to visit some relatives down south. And we were cooking in here, and I baked an apple pie in there. It came out fantastic. Uh, you know, I cooked it in there for an hour. Those Marie Callender's Dutch apple pie. Tell me that's not the best apple pie you ever had. Oh, my God. Anyway, <clears throat> we were running this thing all day long, and all of a sudden the magnetron fried. It went, whoosh, blew the breaker. I knew it was toast. This thing is 30 years old. Now, it's actually pretty modern to be from the 80s. I mean, the way the buttons are lined out, it's in great condition. And really, I could probably replace the magnetron to get it fixed. But the problem with these older microwaves is that they only run like six, 700 watts, you know. The new ones nowadays are running like 1,700 watts. I mean, they can cook like fast, right? And uh, it didn't have that many features, so it was pretty slow. So if you put in something that normally would take a minute, you'd have to put it in for two minutes, all right? But, you know, this was a really high dollar, high end item. And you find a lot of this kind of stuff in the older coaches, the, the premium coaches. I used to have a four travel, a 1989 four travel Unihome before I bought the Prevo. And it had a lot of the same exact appliances. You know, you'll have like trash compactor, built in, uh, there's actually a blender underneath this, under here. There's a base where you put the blender in. So those were pretty common home appliances that, that were high end back in the 80s and 90s. But here's one of the problems with replacing the microwave or some of the appliances in your coach is that microwaves don't come in a standard size. They're all different sizes, shapes, different heights, different widths, different depths. And you're really kind of stuck. But if you have an older coach, chances are you probably have one of these sharp carousels in it because this was about the most popular one. I've had three different coaches, and all three of them had this same microwave in it. But, of course, they were all from about the same era. But it, this seems to be a pretty decent size because they would put the convection combination units in the high-end coaches. you got to think, back in 1990, this coach was about $700,000. So uh, this was high-end appliances. Well, I searched high and low looking for a microwave. Now, look, you can get a microwave for as little as 50 bucks. We already know that. But... This particular microwave, this Breville, is the finest one. Not only is it the best microwave, I think, on the planet Earth, but it happens to be the exact same size as this one. I measured it, and it's off by just a little bit, but it's a tiny bit smaller, which is going to work, I think. We may have to make some adjustments for that, but we're going to talk about that in a minute. Unfortunately, this microwave in particular doesn't come with an inset finishing kit. So you may find that the only microwave that's gonna work for you is gonna be a microwave that has an over-the-counter uh, inset finish. So a lot of times those microwaves are designed to be added with a, uh, <clears throat> a recessed oven. Maybe you put it mounted over the oven. Not the same as one that goes over the range because the one that goes over the range is set up with a vent hood system. It's got a ventilation system. You don't really want that. You could put that in and that would work and that would actually be a good idea, but then you'd have to vent it out. So the other idea is just to take a tabletop microwave and it, if you know somebody who does custom fabrication or does uh, custom cabinetry, they can build you a kit. I'm hoping, I haven't taken tried this yet, I'm hoping that this kit that came with this microwave may work for this. If not, we're going to build one for it. 
and uh, I don't think that'll be too difficult to do. So uh, let's get started. There's usually not that much holding these things in. Believe it or not, I think this one is just held in with these screws here. Now, I know that this thing is attached to the microwave. This is gonna come out. And uh, you really should have a friend help you with this. But luckily, this cord is nice and long. Let me, let me move this over. It's a little heavier than the new modern ones. And, uh, and that's it, I'm just gonna unplug it. Simple as that. Now I already know that the Breville's gonna fit in the hole. The question is exactly how it's gonna fit and whether or not this kit on the back of this one is gonna work. If you just happen to have the same one. Okay, let's, um, this cord is significantly shorter. And that's gonna make it pretty difficult. I'm not sure <laughs> how that's gonna work at all. Let's just, let's just try setting it up in there and see what happens. All right, that's pretty already. I like it. Okay. So really, I could still use this surround, but we'd have to fill this little gap up here. And we don't necessarily need to fill this gap below here. We could leave that open for a little air, air breather. And what we may be able to do is attach this thing in a few other places. Uh, and maybe, <clears throat> it looks like this fascia seems to fit almost exactly this microwave's width perfectly. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, even though there's a sticker here that says, Warning! Microwave energy. Do not remove this cover. As long as it's not plugged in. And, well, you know, you don't want to go rooting around the uh, magnetron and stuff like that. Uh, but I happen to know a little bit about le electronics, and I've worked on things like this, so um, you may want to get somebody to help you with this. But anyway, I need to remove this cover because I need to see what's on the other sides of these covers, and I may, what I may do is, wow, they put some crazy security screws on here. I don't know if this is going to fit in there. All right, I had to go get one of my... Uh, collection of like security style bits. I'll put a link in the description down below in case you ever want to get something like this. But this is sort of like a Torx, but it has like a, a little hole, you know, it's a security bit. Your average Joe wouldn't have these, but I'm not your average Joe. And they put these on there to make sure some fool like me doesn't take the cover off their microwave. This metal is very sharp. Ah, there we go. Yeah, it's just, it's just stuffed on there. There we go. Bang. I gotta tell you, the Breville stuff is some of the... Breville? 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 It's some of the best built out there, in my opinion. How I got interested in this is I have their little toaster oven. And I gotta tell you, that thing is amazing. I've had it for about five years, and it is the best little toaster oven I have ever had and I use it every single day and it still is like brand new. If you ever, if your microwave ever just goes dead and it's got no power or anything, more than likely it's that little fuse. If it's got power and it's not doing something else, well, could be overheating because, you know, your magnetron could have fried or the power supply could have went bad or maybe this fan has failed and then the, it's overheating and then these thermal couplers are going off and it could, or logic board could be bad. But if you got no power whatsoever and you've checked your power, there's going to be a fuse in there, usually a 250 volt, uh, like 30, you know, like 15 amp or whatever. And um, now you know. Oh my God, what a debacle. I... 
I cut a lot of this stuff out. So, I'm not even sure what I've edited out of the video at this point. I'm going to have to go back. So, this is what I had originally done. I had taken the cover and this thing into my shop. I had affixed this to the cover and riveted it in and everything. And what I realized is that you can't get the cover back on the microwave without stretching it out of shape. It has to go around and... So I had to take the cover off it. So what I ended up having to do, which ended up working quite well, and it's what I should have done in the first place. So if you're watching this, disregard taking the cover off and all that other, if you happen to have this particular surround. Because what I ended up doing was I put the cover back on like it normally would. And, and I tried everything. I took the door off. and the, I took this thing damn near apart trying to get this thing back together. I put it all back together like it would normally would, slid this thing over. And I just ended up drilling little holes in the spot and riveting in the thing on. There's really nothing behind there. It'll be fine. But gosh darn, that was just... You missed it. I cut out about an hour of uh, messing with this thing. So now I've got this little filler panel that I was going to put in. Man, that looks nice. Get this reach back here like this. I probably should have cut the power because this thing's hot now. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at the pretty glow. Okay. And. Ta da! And then I just got to put these retainer screws in. There we go. Clean up my mess. Nice. I put it back together and uh, I'm going to clean it. I've talked about this stuff before. This Rain-X waterless wash is the best glass. It's just the best cleaner I've found anywhere for making things shiny. I use it on my Rolls Royce. I use it on all of my cars. I use it on every window. It's not, it doesn't say anything about windows on it, but I assure you that nothing comes out better than when you use this thing. Just use this hand towel. This will be fine. It, it, it is a, the most spot free stuff I've ever seen in my life. It just comes out magnificent. You know, at first it might fool you. You might think, oh gosh, there's a streak or whatever, but it dries and disappears and leaves a perfect spotless surface. Uh, so I'll put a link in the description. If you want, can't find it at your local store, you can order it online. But it's Rain-X. Uh, and I'm a little mad at myself. I put a little tiny ding in the door there, but this, these things happen. So if I were the installer, I would be getting a bad review. So... I made a mistake, and there's nothing I can do about it now. And I put this stuff in here. That's the little spinny job. And it's complete. All right, and for those of you that are just now joining us and skip the installation, the installation is complete. And now we're going to talk about the uh, Breville Combi Wave. We're inside my tour bus, my Prevo tour bus, and uh, I have mounted this thing uh, securely with, we, we've made a custom mount. If you skipped it, now you're interested in seeing it, go back and watch the whole thing. But it's mounted in here, it's not going anywhere, it's in here solid, and it's ready to go. We're gonna talk about why this is the best microwave for any amount of money that you can get. Well, first of all, it's all stainless steel. Stainless steel construction. I've taken this thing completely apart earlier in the video, and everything is in stainless steel, even all the hardware. It's probably one of the best built microwaves I've ever taken apart. Maybe not as sturdy, because I did put a little dent in it when I was moving it around, because some of this is soft, you know, soft and they, they needed to, I wanted to make it light enough that you could move it around. Uh, but very good con construction, very good electronics in here. One of the Number one features that they keep talking about with this particular unit is the soft closed door. 
It's so quiet. How cool is that? All right, now I was sold on that right away. There's some buttons in here, and uh, you've got favorite, child lock, different units, set the clock, grill, keep warm, melt chocolate, soften butter, popcorn, sound, beep volume, and mute. How cool is that? This thing is designed so that you can use it and be as dead silent as you want. Here in this RV, you know, the bed is right there. Somebody might be sleeping on the couch. This thing is so quiet. You can turn off the beeper and you can change the sound. This is sound one. And then there's the traditional beep. But I like that sound. And you can control the volume. Or you can mute it. And have no sound at all. How cool is that? You've got combi mode, air fryer mode. You've got a from frozen mode, a food menu, um, turntable off mode. This thing does so many things. Look up inside here. You'll see that there is a regular toaster oven uh, element, just like in a regular oven. I got to tell you, Branville's toaster ovens are the best. I have one at my house that I've been using for about five years now, and it still looks and works like new. Now, it doesn't have the traditional metal element like that. It has the quartz uh, light element. But I got to tell you, the construction on it and just the forethought they put into the controls is fantastic. Now, um, it comes with a couple of cool accessories here. It comes with... Uh, this pan here, which you can stand up, and it'll tell you when to use this. It'll actually, if you choose a particular food, it'll tell you to put this thing up on, on its legs like that, or it to have it flat. And then you have uh, this little thing, which also fits in there, I believe. But it'll also sit in there like that. So we're going to demonstrate uh, kind of how to use these and what makes this thing so cool. One of the things you'll notice is whenever you, now you're not supposed to run it with nothing on, but for just a few seconds, you hit that button that says instant 30. You'll notice that this thing changes color and turns orange. We're gonna go ahead and stop it though because we don't wanna run it with nothing in there. I love the sounds, it's so great. So we got the manual. I'm a guy, I'm not supposed to read manuals. The crisper pan that I just showed you, this thing here, it says, uh, the, the combi crisp pan is ideal for crisping up items that become soggy in the microwave, such as pizza, chicken nuggets, and fries. Crisper can be used in either the high or low position, depending on the size of the food, on how much browning is desired. Um, and so what's cool about that is, you know how when you buy a lot of microwave stuff and it comes in that special box, like a Hot Pocket? Well, and it's, it's got like a metallic coating in there to made for crisping. That's kind of what this is. It's kind of a big metal version of that that's a pretty cool accessory comes with it now here's a little button i think is pretty cool it's called a bit more you know sometimes you're cooking you got your cook running a cooking program you can tell it's not done and you don't want to add like too much time you could just add a bit more <laughs> i love how these guys think that's hilarious there's so many cooking functions on here we can't go through them all because it would bore you to death but here's something that's really cool it's called the fast combi button which is this one up here and the fast combi is designed to cook your favorite dishes faster than in a traditional microwave. Okay, so it alternatively uses the microwave and the convection oven and the grill in order to reach the selected cooking temperature. This combination of the three functions helps the microwave reach a cooking temperature more quickly than a traditional oven. So imagine it's using all, it's using everything it's got. It's using the, the air fryer function, the convection, the oven, the, and the microwave all at the same time to get as hot as possible when you just can't wait that extra 30 seconds for your hot pocket this thing will speed it up you've got a from frozen which will kind of slowly defrost and then start cooking that's a pretty cool feature let's see we've got uh, a grill function grill function uh, open the door and press the grill button on the shortcut panel and uh, that's for grilling some stuff all right so you can grill uh smart cook now i think smart cook just automatically detects the thing you're doing and it just it figures it out you got popcorn hard vegetables soft vegetables rice 
bacon, cake, cookies, melt and dry. You got, it's got a softened butter function. You know, you're in a hurry and you've got a solid hard brick of butter, you can stick it in there and it will make it soft without melting it into ghee. That's pretty neat. There's a smart reheat. Look, first leftovers use the smart reheat function. And it just knows how to, where to stop, I guess. Smart defrost, smart this, smart that. It's pretty smart. It's smarter than me. All I can tell you is I can't wait to start using this thing. And let's start right now because I'm going to make something really cool. Now, um, so now for those of you that fast forwarded to the chicken sandwich part, we're inside my Prevo tour bus. We've installed this new Breville microwave, and what makes it unique is that it is a combi cooker. So it's an air fryer, an oven, and a microwave at the same time. Now, they sell these wannabe Chick-fil-A sandwiches at, uh, at Sam's, and I guess Walmart. It's called uh, the Southern Style. So these have been brined in um, uh, pickle juice, just like Chick-fil-A. And I gotta tell you, these things are fantastic. So what I normally do with these, and my, my secret, uh, you, if you don't have a microwave like this, you're going to have to do it uh, another way. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop it in there, leave it in the package, and I'm just going to do a quick 30 on it just to get it unfrozen. This is what I normally do. I have a Breville um, toaster oven that's made by the same company as this one. And what I do is I'll microwave the sandwich to get it just to, where it's not completely frozen. Then I'll take the chicken part of the sandwich and I will put it in the toaster oven on convection, which is basically like air fryer, just not nearly as heavy duty. Then I'll take the buns and I'll grill them on a, a hot plate. But since this thing does toasting as well, we're gonna do it a little different. So we're gonna try out this little microwave here. I wanted a little bit more microwave than that. So I'm gonna flip it over. Which side was it on? Hard to tell. Wow, this thing is really good. Let's do another 30 seconds. I love how the thing changes from blue to orange. What a cool microwave. And it has the soft closed door and, and that cool little chime it makes. That's really neat too. So maybe you came here for a chicken sandwich. Next thing you know, you're buying a $500 microwave. I think this thing retails for like 450 or something. It's kind of expensive. <laughs> it has a cooling, it's now it's cooling. That's interesting. So interesting. Okay, so what we've got here is a crisping pan that, that this particular microwave uses. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take the bread off of the sandwich. And uh, there's our piece of chicken. I'm going to put the chicken right on this crisping pan. Now, I have to read the directions on how to use this thing. You know. All right, so the way the microwave, uh, comp, the, the air fryer microwave works is it preheats the pan for three minutes, then it tells you to put your food in there. And I put the crisper rack in there, and now we got the chicken on there going. Oh, those last few seconds take the longest. Mm. Oh, better get my mayo ready. Come on. Mayonnaise. All right, let's take a look at this thing. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Oh. oh. Let me see. It's pretty crispy. It's pretty crispy. Now, we're going to take the buns. Now, since this is the kind of thing, the kind of microwave, yeah, I can actually do a, a, a grill, all right? Check this out, it'll actually toast. I could put this thing on grill. And I think you get the idea here. The entire important part of making these chicken sandwiches so that they're like 
what you would get at a Popeyes or Chick-fil-A or anywhere else is, you know, they're deep frying them. Now, the ultimate thing would be to just deep fry the thing. Nobody's gonna do that, it's too much of a mess. If you have a toaster oven and you have a microwave, you can make a pretty darn good chicken sandwich. All right. I've got it out of the microwave toaster thingy. And I had some uh, mayonnaise. Now what I should be putting on here is some pickles. I don't have any pickles though. Uh, so I'm gonna do it without the pickles. And uh, it's a little toasty, Ooh, nice and crispy. And uh, there you go. So hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, if you've watched the whole thing, bless you. <laughs> on how to install a custom microwave into a tour bus. Um, and, uh, you know, how to check out the Bravel Combi 3-in-1 microwave and how to make the perfect chicken sandwich in a microwave and a toaster oven. Mmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. It's tough. It's crispy. Uh, hey, if you like stuff like this, consider subscribing. I put out a lot of weird, cool, all kinds of different videos all the time. Again, down in the uh, descriptions, down below. If you're watching on Apple TV, you're going to have to go on your computer or something. But check out the links uh, down there if you want to buy any of the things that I talked about in the video. And, uh, Thanks for hanging out with me and having a chicken sandwich. I'm Video Bob. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. It's so crunchy. Mmm. Mm-hmm.